if it was certain, yeah. he would keep his girl. Yeah, I would keep my girl. But if you was, was He's gonna let go. you were going to let the girl go, I would let go. To be honest. Hi, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's a girl test with a wire here. And in this channel, I create content about hospitality, hospitality, job roles and function, creativity, life, and everything else in between. And in today's video, I'll be talking about relationship. One basic, most important aspect in every young girl's life and in every young guy's life. And today, I have two wonderful guys with me, Wesley and Silton. Welcome, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in today's talk, all right, about relationship, we're going to talk about one topic that came up today, one very interesting topic. So here's a picture scenario, guys. So a situation where I don't know who is dating her lovely, romantic, adorable boyfriend who she wants to spend the rest of her life with and then her parents are putting a lot of pressure Okay, let's take our African parents, we know what they all do when they want us to marry someone you know? Yeah, you know. yeah, you can relate to that We all can relate to this So a girl who her parents want her to get married to a rich abroad US based, maybe Canada based, something, somewhere based, a broad based guy <laughs> who is extremely rich. Extremely rich, by the way. And, and she is in between the devil and the red sea, right? Get married to this guy who her parents thought, thinks that she's gonna have a wonderful life with him, who she wouldn't have um, any problem, mm -hmm. financial constraints or whatsoever. She's gonna have an amazing life with him. Or to spend the rest of her life with her boyfriend. So there is a twist in the story whereby the boyfriend mm -hmm. actually is encouraging her to marry this guy. In his own words, I have financial constraints, I'm not financially able, you know, to get married to you at this moment. So to make your life easier and to take the pressure off you, why don't you marry the one who your family proposes? So here's it guys. So, What's your take individually? What's your individual opinion on it? Like right? from the male perspective, and of course we're gonna hear it from my female perspective. Mm. So let's start with. No, I, 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 I will leave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so okay, let, okay, let's 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 come to you, so, 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 Um, let's yeah. let's okay, let's put it. You you know you know this situation, like yeah, yeah, yeah. you know the twist of the story. So mm. if you're the guy, if you're the boyfriend, yeah. will you encourage your your girlfriend? Who you're obviously in love with, will you encourage her to marry someone else just for her own uh, future benefit and for her to be financially um, comfortable? Comfortable, yes. yes. It, you know, sometimes in life, in life, it's not all about being in life. It's not all about being comfortable or financially comfortable. You know? it, yes. What I'm trying to say is this. You know, yeah, being financially stable is actually good. Yes, but on the other hand, you can marry someone. You do not love, yeah, because you have to love someone in order to marry this person. Mm -hmm. So, if I were the one, I would not advise my girlfriend to go for him because I do love my girlfriend. But you also know that the object, you also know that also there's a case of uh, love growing in a relationship. Like even if she doesn't love the man because mm -hmm. uh, because she, maybe she doesn't know him, yeah. but because of okay the fa financial comfort, she yeah. ends up marrying. So she can grow to love him. Okay, please let me say this. Um, the fact that I'm broke now, for example, mm -hmm. let me put myself in the position of this guy. Right. I'm broke, I don't think I'm going to be broke forever. Yeah. You know, I mean, when they travel overseas and become so rich, even more than that guy. So I advise my girl to go. So do you, you advise if, if you really love someone, would you yeah. want to put them through the stage of suffering, prolongs, maybe like maybe at, at the moment like you are going through a lot of things. Would you yeah. really yeah. let the girl go through the suffering and mm -hmm. with you like you know having yeah. nothing and all that just to wait for you? And moreover, you should know that as a lady, like age is not always on our side. The unlike men, like you yeah. know, yeah. and we also have uh, cases of menopause and all that. Yeah. You know, we don't want us to stay that long. Like, Really waiting for you if your girlfriend she will stay that long, really waiting for you, or she just take the option two, which is like a very amazing option. What would you advise? Like, I mean, not what would you advise, I mean, what would you do if you really love someone? We want to put them through that financial struggle, like through the hardship, you know, and all that, just because you're being selfish. Okay. Because in that case, it would be like you're selfish, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm not the only one. Okay. Uh, one if, 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 if I say something right now, mm -hmm. this, this is something like. In a woman's mind, mm -hmm. 
designed by God. Trust me. The woman has a thousand things going through her mind in one second. But men are prone to one thing at a time. Yeah. Yeah. No multitasking, just unitasking yeah. for a man. You know, when it gets to that point, what a man thinks is, yeah, it's hard out here. It might take time for me. Yeah. It might be very long. Maybe five years. If I think of being stable enough to get you the life you deserve. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But no, I love you enough to let you not to suffer. Mm-hmm. You get that. So I want you to marry this dude. That's if you actually like the dude. Trust me, some girls don't actually deny it because they don't like them too. If you refuse the dude, yeah. because you actually don't have anything for the dude, that's, that's a little bit of connection. That means it was a chance given. Was no, no. Okay, so what, 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 what I want to understand okay. here is that Simpson, if, if it was Simpson, yeah. he would keep his girl. Yeah, I would keep my But girl. if you were was, was you were going to let the girl go. I would let go. To be honest with you, I've been in this situation before. That, 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 that's what Now, I want to tell you what I'm trying to say now is what I understood about ladies. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. What a lady would do mm-hmm. when he, she actually tells you that, yeah? Mm-hmm. She saw you tell the truth. Before asking you, she knows <laughs> Okay. That's the. Yeah, being men in relationship, we are definitely very stupid. Trust me, 100%. Alright, okay. Understand? Okay. A woman doesn't ask you because she doesn't know her answer. Yeah, of course, she does, yeah. She already knows everything yeah. from start to end. She knows whether she's gonna go for that time. Okay. But now she trusts you enough to tell you about yeah, it. Yes. She wants to get your opinion, your opinion. and you don't have to tell her, go ahead. Okay. So you she not so, so in so like so, so, so in your okay. case, in your case you're gonna be giving it a 50-50. So like you're gonna either let her go. Or you're gonna tell her to stay. So like, you don't know what that is. You don't understand what that is. Your understanding. I have a standpoint. What is your standpoint? To be honest with you, after that incident, because like you're saying right now, I can relate to that what's happened to me. Okay. So what is the beginning? My girlfriend. Oh, yes, girlfriend. That there's actually a man, not a broad based though. A man is coming and the guy is actually ready. I knew to myself I wasn't ready for marriage. Mm. Even in the next five years. Alright. I wasn't okay to get married. Okay. I tell her, if you're happy, I can't hold you down. Okay? I can't tell you to keep waiting for me to maybe five years. If you can no, you can't wait. I give you I give her an option. Either you can wait for me for five years or you go for the person who's ready right now. But I'm not ready right now. You understand that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so okay. So now like it's we will, it's, we will agree that if you, if you were in that situation, you will let go. You are open you are, I, you are I already open. let go you when I was open. there. You then I must let go understand. That's why I said women already thought this already think it true a thousand times before. Mm-hmm. You understand? Now after I did all that, yeah. I had to learn mm-hmm. from my elderly person. Mm-hmm. I had to meet someone. It came in conversation. That's why most of my times in my life, I meet people who are actually way more older than I am, way more and more intelligent than I am, like in every application of life. 